If you're looking for a laptop to start your AI or machine learning career in 2026, stop looking at this specs. You are about to invest a lot of money and the last thing you want is a machine that can actually run the models you are building. The common advice is simple, just buy the most expensive gaming laptop you can find. But today, price does not equal to the performance. If your hardware architecture doesn't match your specific software stack, that one like laptop is just an expensive overweight. In this masterclass, I am breaking down four types of students to find your perfect match. The beginner, the pro, the researcher and the all-rounder. I have tested these specific workflows across every major chip architecture available this year. I found exactly where the bottlenecks are. So let's find your machine. Now starting with the beginners. At this stage, you are not building big machine learning models yet. You are mastering the math and gleaning data with libraries like Pandas. At this stage, you aren't building massive neural networks yet. Instead, you spend your time in tools like Pandas, Skitlearn and Matplotlib to clean messy data sets and build your first regression model. You need an ultra portable laptop that is light enough to carry between classes but also reliable enough that it can easily handle the environments and the Jupyter notebooks. You need a minimum of 4 to 6 core CPU like the Intel 12th generation i5, P, U or H series or AMD Ryzen 7000U or H series or above. On the Apple side, the MacBook Air M3 or M4 is the definitive move. For this category, here are the laptops I recommend. Look, these are perfect if you are just starting out and want a machine that work it from first day of college all the way until you land your first job. You can choose any of these blindly. They have the build quality to last 4 years and have really good battery life. By the way, links to all of these laptops that I am seeing in this video are in the description. But here's the catch. What happens when you move past the basic data cleaning and you start building actual neural networks? Does that light and silent laptop still hold up or it literally met under the pressure? So that brings us to the pro category. This is for those of you who want to dive into complex neural networks and computer vision. Here the GPU and the memory bandwidth become the heart of your system. At this stage your work revolves around building and training actual neural networks from scratch using the frameworks like the PyTorch or TensorFlow. You will be diving deep into the computer vision task like training model to detect objects in real time using the video feedback and the natural language processing where you develop custom sentiment analysis tool. This level of work requires your machine to handle the massive matrix multiplication simultaneously. Our minimum specs here is the 6 core Intel 12th generation H or AMD Ryzen 5 7th generation HS series paired with an Nvidia RTX 3050 specifically the 6 GB VRAM variant. By the way if you prefer Apple the floor is now the M4 chip but you must opt for the 24 GB of RAM to handle the professional workloads. Here are the machines I recommend for the pro level. You can choose any of these if you want a powerhouse that will be your primary workhorse even after you are hired as an ML specialist. However, there is a specific type of AI work where even a high-end gaming laptop's GPU run out of memory instantly. If you want to work with the latest large language models, do you actually need a gaming laptop or there is actually a smarter way to get more VRAM? For the LLM researchers, the only thing that matters to you is the VRAM of the GPU. If you are fine-tuning LLMs or building rack pipelines, then speed isn't the bottleneck. It's the ability to actually hold the model in your memory. At this stage, you aren't just a user you are pushing the limits of your machine and the models. At this level, your daily work shifts to three core pillars. Fine-tuning LLMs where you take open source models like the Llama 3 and train them on specialized datasets to turn a general AI into a domain expert. Second, building rag pipelines. The tech behind chat with your PDF where you create vector databases to search through the thousands of local documents in milliseconds. And the third, the model quantization where you shrink a massive 70B parameter model down to the 8B parameter so they can run locally on any hardware without losing the intelligence. Because you are running your GPU at 100% of load for hours to replicate the research papers or your thesis experiments so you can't compromise here. Here we need a 8 core Ryzen 7 7 generation HS or Intel 13 generation i7 HX paired with an 8 GB of RTX 4060 or 5060. These are my top pick for researchers. You can pick any of these knowing they offer the specific specs required for modern AI research. These are the legacy machines that will carry you through your thesis. But what if you refuse to be put in a box? Does the jack of all trade actually exist for a creative engineer? 
So for that, we have the all rounder. This is for the person who want to do AI or machine learning, but also want to do gaming, video editing or 3D rendering. Now it's for those who need to train a machine learning model in the morning, edit a 4K video in Premiere Pro, render a 3D scene in Blender, and I also want to build AI agents in the afternoon. Because your workflow is a hybrid of heavy compute or high end graphics, you need a jack of all trade that balances the thermal power with raw performance. The minimum spec for this hybrid is a 4 core or 6 core 12 generation i5 H series or Ryzen 5 7 generation HS series, paired with at least an RTX 2050 or 3050. And if your budget is more higher, you can increase the GPU power by getting into the 4000 series. For this category, here's the lineup. These machines are literal workstation for your entire college time. To wrap this up, remember the RAM trap. 8GB is officially dead for 2026. If you want a machine that can last your entire college degree, aim for 16GB of RAM or higher. Leave a comment with your budget and what you plan to do. I will personally recommend the laptop that suits you the best. Also, all the laptops that I recommended in this video are linked down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. These are the affiliate links. By using those affiliate links to buy the laptop, you help to grow the channel and also help me making more and more content that are useful for you. So that's it for the video. Make sure you do subscribe the channel and hit that like button. Stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.